So what do you uh, weigh? So I weigh around like one eight. I weigh around like one eighty two. Six foot one eighty two. Yeah, you're a little light. So what did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, well, on a I've been trying to this I morning have eggs every. What did you have for breakfast? Uh, I had three eggs. Three. And what else? A uh, uh, piece of toast and a glass of milk. How yeah, many? How much milk was in the glass? Uh, be like a cup and a half. And what? Else, what did you have for lunch? Uh, for lunch, when I got home from work, I think I just kind of starved. I think I know why you're not getting weight. Well, I, I mean, <laughs> so my question is, why are you calling us? <laughs> you know exactly want, what's wrong. Why do I have to tell you what's wrong? I want, I want an easy it's got nothing to do with the quality of milk in Texas. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, the quality of milk's not the problem. The quality <laughs> of milk's not the problem. The quantity of the milk is the problem. And... The and fact that else. you're not willing to get uncomfortable when you eat is the problem. You have to be willing to be uncomfortable, uncomfortably full when you eat. Well, and for him, it, uncomfortable just means actually eating. Yes. I mean, eating three, at least three times a day, probably more like five times a day. Yes. Um, and you have to do that consistently. It has nothing to do with the milk, man. I mean, the milk is a is a, is a a way to help Milk the is situation. a tool. Yeah. Gallon of milk a day is our little famous deal. And but that's not going to help yet, you six months down the line if you haven't fixed your actual problem, which is you don't like to eat. Yeah. I mean, a, a gallon of milk a day in addition to, you know, a whole lot of food always works. But if all you eat is a gallon of milk a day, you're still not going to gain any weight because that's only a couple of thousand calories. The, the, the milk works because it's a couple of thousand extra calories on top of 3,500 calories of food, which you're not even thinking about. Yeah, I bet I bet you're under two thousand right. calories a day. You know, you, you know how many you know how much protein is in three eggs? Twenty two grams. Uh, that's it. And a guy that's trying to gain weight that weighs one hundred eighty five pounds that is six foot needs to be getting at least two hundred fifty grams of protein a day, and you're not even knocking on the door of a hundred grams of protein a day. So. Uh, you know, do you uh, have, Harris, do you have do you have trouble with milk? No, no, I love milk. Oh, well, we'll love it more. Milk, man. Be more faithful. Be a more faithful yeah. lover. Buy of milk. Well, that's why I was. I was wondering uh, if you guys had like different laws uh, regarding raw milk. Yeah, we do. Some yeah. places do. Yeah. Yeah. Some places allow you to buy raw milk. Some places don't. It's just damn expensive. It's too damn expensive. You can't buy raw milk. If you're going to drink a gallon of it a day, it's too damn much money. And it doesn't matter whether it's raw or not. The bacteria count in raw milk might be 10 times as high as the bacteria count in pasteurized milk. And it's not one iota more nutritious. All that bullshit about raw milk being, that's all bullshit. Especially if you're trying to drink a gallon of it a day. You can't afford a gallon of raw milk a day, and this is just an excuse. And you know it's just an excuse, so drop the pasteurized versus raw shit. You're not eating enough food. Harris, Harris, you're not eating enough food. <laughs> what are you going to eat for dinner tonight? What, are, what do you got planned for dinner tonight? Um, don't say I don't what I want to hear. Tell me what you got planned for dinner tonight. I have no idea. I'm only 18. There we go. Meal. Harris, here's what you're going to do. Go to, the, go to the grocery store and buy a pound of ground beef, 80-20. Uh, cook some rice and eat the whole pound of ground beef. 
and eat a bunch of rice with it, and that's good. And then tomorrow, eat two pounds of ground beef throughout the day. Do Her- that every ha- day. Drink a bunch of milk. Ha- Harris, it'll be the good. excuse of I'm only 18 does not work. Yeah, we don't <laughs> it doesn't care work, about man. that shit. You, you got to start taking some responsibility 18, and eat some fucking food. 18 is like being on anabolic steroids. Yeah. All That's right. your chance, man. You're <laughs> in the the most productive years of your life for growing muscle mass. If you will just take advantage of the opportunity and load the bar a little heavier every time you train and try to get thrown out. Do they have all-you-can-eat places in Nova Scotia? Uh, not many. Yeah, probably not. So you're just going to have to eat too much. Hey, you're going to have to eat was... more than you're comfortable eating. And the, what you eat is not as important as how much you eat, especially not right now. Now, when, when you get to be 50, you know, there are health considerations that that have to be paid attention to, but you're 18. You cannot develop heart disease if you're training. It doesn't matter what you eat. You just need to eat more of it. Okay? I was training a 17-year-old. He came in at 180, and he's about 6 foot. I told him, you need to get to 220 as fast as possible. His one rep max was 360, and he gained 40 pounds, did exactly what I said, and in about four months, I had him doing 470 for five. So it's not an excuse, man. No. It's not. No. Okay. Go buy a bunch of ground beef. It's it, If you buy one-pound packages, you can literally look at it and know whether you ate enough food or not because you have eight one-pound packages in your fridge. Take two of them out, cook it, and eat all of it in one day. Well, and if, but if they sell it in one of those big old 10-pound chubs and it's cheaper, well, just measure it off. Whatever, yeah, but – You've got a task, finish this food by the end of the week, Yeah, and that may help you. 